Welcome back to Earthbound. Last time we went spelunking into a pyramid. And then Master Roshi came by, took Krillin away, and gave us some sensu beans. I'm sorry, I just been in a Dragon Ball mood. What are you gonna do about it? So Pooh will come back at some point, hopefully. Apparently it's dependent on Pooh. And if Pooh doesn't get his crap together, then you know, maybe we'll just never Maybe we'll never see him again. To the northwest, you say. Oh. Because the guy in town said he was going to give us the key to Dungeon Man. But he dropped but it. But he dropped it. And this nice guy found it for us. How swell. And for all that rough stuff, they're selling a frying pan. Ooh, multi-bottle rockets. But and look at that price. Wow, yeah. that is a lot for those. And if you have them, multi-bottle rocket. The multi-bottle rocket is your boss killer, man. You get that thing, fire it off, it'll wreck whatever it is. Don't shoot it at somebody with a reflect shield, though. Hmm, comes back. Yeah. It'll... I don't know if it all 100% reflects back on Jeff or what, but it will just straight up murder whoever it reflects back on. So yeah, just just make sure about the shield thing first. Yeah, the biggest thing you want out of this, though, is that frying pan. Which we just happen to have enough money for. Yeah, I, tr I tried to leave us with enough money before coming here. Ugh. Is it just called a French fry pan just because of the French fry joke? Maybe. Um, I'm not sure what else this guy sells. Wow, that's an extra ten. Yeah, let's sell that off. Uh, probably not, other than the multi-bottle rocket, probably not too much of value. Alright. There's, I think it's the crusher beam. There is a crusher beam, Yeah, crusher beam, beam which is not as good. That's worse than what Jeff has. There's a bazooka. Which... I wouldn't worry about that bazooka because we have our own solution to that one next time we can yeah. rest. There's a bottle of deluxe water, beef jerky. Still $198. And a secret herb. Well, it is deluxe water. It's probably not this uh, ice mountain one I'm drinking from. It's probably like an Aquafina or something. I want to know at what stage in the world you could sell a bottle of... Well, I mean, I guess they're in the middle of the desert. Maybe, like, filtered water is that big a commodity. Oh, wow. Look how far we're down. Yeah. We came underneath the river, too. This map doesn't actually show the very bottom of Scaraba. Technically, we're off the map. I mean, technically, we're also... Well, I don't know. Maybe, river, so. maybe we're not off the map. The little pyramid we came out of <laughs> is off the map, though. Okay, which way am I going? I'm um, go going, going northwest, because that's where the dude said Dungeon Man was. Also, there's some weirdos out here. Like a Marauder Octobot. Oh, look at this. He's this far in the game, and he's still a Marauder. Get your job, Crystal! You're supposed to be a warrior at this point. Um, okay, so the Marauder Octobot, he has 482 HP, 0 PP. He can steal items from you. Well, he failed at it. And that's about it. He hits you, too. And then Paula just went with her new frying pan. It's like, Ness, watch this! <laughs> Time and to then, break this in and then by the, breaking you. And you just saw, like, the middle section of it, like... Like a baseball, just like rip apart into like machinery guts everywhere. So you just, just have tiny, like just tiny bits and pieces yeah. of scrap, just just flying off. There's like this little bottom part of the body with like the arms and legs still attached, just standing there. And it's like, God damn, she is Alina reincarnated. It's like that thing where you see something fly apart and break apart in an anime or something, and you don't know whoever animated that spent way too yeah. long on it. Oh, we got oh, a, boy, a high class UFO and a beautiful, a beautiful UFO. UFO. Maybe using some PS. I mean, it is very pretty. So let's see what we can find out about these guys. Um, high class UFO has 433 HP. Probably gonna be using the PSI to help with that. Uh, let's see here. They hurt you. They hurt you. They will put up a psychic shield. Probably may not use PSI for them. 
and they will make you unable to use PSI. They are weak to fire, and then they can be brain shocked. Which we don't have access to brain shock right now, because of the left. And then the beautiful UFO... Actually reflects fire. What? Uh, beautiful UFO has 339 HP. Uh, hits you, hits you, hits you, and can cast life up. So, probably best to... Also susceptible to brain shock. What does brain shock even do? I think it confuses. Yeah, hold up. I don't even remember what brain shock does. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. Brain shock. Causes an enemy to feel strange. Yeah, I think that's confusing. Well, oh, that's funny. She used life up on the one that I just killed, but apparently not enough to recover what would be needed for the whole thing. Yeah, thankfully, what was it, 400 HP or so? Like, that's nothing at this point. I only use PSI Fire Gamma once. Yeah. And then after that, they put up a shield, but... Yeah. Ooh, a present. A protein drink. Mmm. Just what I need in this desert. Gotta bulk up. Gotta get huge. Gotta get them sick gains. Sick gains, bro. Another Marauder Octobot. Alright, are you gonna do anything, or is Paula just gonna... <laughs> just knock the top off of you like a golf ball again? Wow. Last time he just tried to steal, and apparently that's just Paula's butt. What'd you what? try to do?! <laughs> My items are mine. Man, I wish Paula had more HP. Like, I understand the whole... Heck are you? You didn't scroll off. <laughs> I don't... Oh, maybe it's a boss. Maybe if I go every way but around it. Ha ha! <laughs> hey, Scorpion! Looks like you're on the wrong side of the river! Hops over. Oh! He's not like <laughs> Benny at all! <laughs> Oh no, it's locked! What are we gonna do? We'll never make it in. I'll put this key into his crotch. <laughs> you all did that as kids, you all have to realize this now. I wonder where the door is. Maybe it's like on the bottom of his foot or something. The way his foot's up, probably not. And inside, it's just a big cave? You were inside of my body. That's creepy. Brick Road. Hey, I know that guy! It's Jeff's dad! No, wait. It's Jeff's parental figure! That was nicer to him. Even though Jeff only met him for, like, three One seconds. Thing. Well, let's go to the left first, then. Fudge that. Cool. I'm not taking that. Yay! I hate that because it looks like it should be, like, Jeff's thing that he's, like, working into the night. Mm. I mean, we'll see enough of these. It's also a payphone and an ATM. Because it looks like Brick Road finally got his dream. Seems like he finally managed to talk to Dr. Ann Donuts and get turned into Dungeon Man. How much is he paying you guys? The A ultimate cut. Yeah, the ultimate combination of man and dungeon. It's actually a pretty gentle dungeon, all things considered. I will probably forget. Just full of encouraging notes. All right, four right. I uh, head to the right first. Yeah, I see it when I was going up. Do I actually have the space for it? I have like two spaces. Uh, there are 11 items in this dungeon. We're gonna have a hard time with that. Uh, 
I don't know what that is. Volunteer soup is a food item of some sort. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up just shoving food down our throats. Oh, uh, you know what we should have done? We should have probably tried to sell crap to that dude outside. Ah. Uh. Do we have anything we could sell? I'm something. I think crystal charm, crystal platinum charm. band. The band, I think Pot doesn't have anything. Yeah, not really anything here. Like, we could clear stuff out of our inventory that we may not need. Sell some stuff, but for the most part, nah, we're pretty full up. Do you want me to go back and sell those two things? Nah, don't worry about it. Let's just shove food down our throat as we go. Uh, head up the middle. As long as it's only just food we're getting. Hey, another bench! I feel like there's one of these about every three feet. And there are enemies in here, but for whatever reason, it feels like... I never see any? More of a maze than anything. But I still don't know why you're in a bathroom in Dungeon Man. And I had a brief moment of thinking... There's your enemies. I had a brief moment of thinking, what does Dungeon Man do with all the waste? And then I realized, probably just poops it out. Yeah, exactly. Just while he's walking around as a dungeon every now and then, just poop. It's like an airplane. Ooh, that was three enemies at once. There's a couple of them. All right, what are we- Oh, yeah, it's these guys again! Scolding a hot coffee and a okay. mystical record. I'm gonna take care of the coffee first. Okay, scalding coffee cup. <laughs> scalding coffee cup. Ah! Ah! Well, it didn't hurt Paul as much. Ah! Scalding coffee cup. He has 190 HP. Wow, is this the same guy that we fought last time? I think it might just be the same and... one. The only thing he can do is spill some scalding hot espresso, which is the equivalent of uh, fire al fire alpha. Mm. Probably like Dungeon Man's nature. It's very be weak enemies. Very weak to freeze. Once a dungeon is built, monsters always start moving in. Get it because you're cooling down the coffee. What was the other guy? A mystical record. Mm -hmm. Mystical record has 263 HP. He can hit you, he can hit you, he can cast life up, and he can hit you. He's weak to fire. I think these are the same guys that we saw before. At the, um... Uh, department store. Yeah. Like, I think these are the department store guys. Let me take a quick glance around and see if there are any more record enemies. But I don't think there are. No, I don't think there are. Like, I was thinking maybe these were, like, the upgraded records? Also, let me make sure you're going a reasonable way. Um... Yeah, just hit five bucks. Yeah, I'd go up that ramp. Explore around up there while I look for another record. Snake! Ah! I don't know, maybe, maybe he collects stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there are no other record enemies. That's the same record enemy that we fought back in the department store. Super plush bear! Oh, man! Now we kind of have four party members. <laughs> Gently cry, <laughs> Gently weeps into the barrel. That is my guitar, gently weeps. It, technically, you gave it a message. Well, maybe he's not talking about this one. Uh. Uh. 
So we saw early on, you have to make it to the four roof, ropes, roofs, and here they are. So do not go up the third rope. Go up every other other, other every other one first. Because there's a sign in all of them, and you know we gotta show them all off, because that's what you do in video games. Is the bear climbing? What the hell is that about? Look, don't ask questions. <laughs> is he talking about the game that everybody else was playing, or the game that we're playing? <laughs> Game needs to stop being metatextual here with everything. <laughs> just like George taking out Lenny at the end of, of Mice and Men there, just like, I'm sorry, buddy. Like, I maybe Brick Road likes playing video games. What if I worked in a fire factory? I'm not sure I understand the metaphor you're going for there. Why would you work in a fire factory? I don't know, where's Fireman stationed at? What about Heat Man? What about every other fire boss in Mega Man? Where the hell are they working at? Sh Shadow Man. Some of them are in active volcanoes. Shadow Man was working at an iron refinery of some sort. Yeah, and some of sometimes it's like a smelting or place or refinery or something. Sometimes they're just in an active volcano because that's creepy. Um. What is it? Done? I think you're going up first. Ah. The left first. Exploring the area up yonder. Oh wow, an actual dude. Lesser Mook. Lesser Mook, a. Eh? Have we seen you before? Didn't we see them in the department store? I don't know. Well, he has 401 HP, so that's enough HP to be a modern enemy. I thought I could use a light bulb. He can cast Freeze Alpha, Freeze Beta, and Hypnosis Alpha. Oh, I gave the Viper to the food. So yeah, mostly he just does bad things, so kill him. He is, resists Freeze, but is weak to fire. Oh, I'm gonna throw a snake at him. <laughs> Haha, you got poison. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Can we have anything else we can just kind of throw around? I don't think so, really. No, not really. Throw a super plush bear at him. I could use a bottle rocket on him. <laughs> I only had 10 HP left! And I really wanted it to hurt. Ten bucks. Come in, ten bucks. Most of them are brick road, I'm sorry to say. And a bench! I think that's actually it for up here. There's like... Another leg around, but there's nothing there. Mm. Fix something, Jeff! I Dang it! I guess it's technically because we're not cycling through day and night. Hmm. Even though there technically is no night here. Yeah, there's nothing over Oh no, I meant that in the sense that there's no day and night mechanic. Oh, um, I mean, I, I know that. I was me I meant the yeah, the loop, the loop. Why? How about Flash? Oh wait, I don't have that anymore. All I have is Total Eclipse of the Heart. I miss you, Pooh. What was that about? I don't know. I miss not having him around. He's getting right around my belly button. No, actually, it's uh, about here. Actually, it's a little closer. Well, he said right around. That's true. Oh wow. The music we're hearing is the actual music that he made, blaring through the loudspeakers inside the dungeon. Also fancies himself a musician, I guess. Apparently, 
a tone deaf one of some sort, but whatever. I mean, there's a fire? melody to it. That's just fire there. What the hell's that about? I don't know, man. I don't know about fire. Wow, a pizza! That's all our inventory slots. I hope we don't need to use anything more. Oh, look, an enemy. I don't think we have anything else to... To throw at him. Throw at him. Well, if somebody gets sick with sign up, use a horn of life for a secret group on him. Start eating pizza. Drinking bottled water. Look at the bear is just immune to PSI. <laughs> Somehow our plush bear is just immune to PSI. Even PSI that should damage it? Maybe it's like immune to ice, but like it's weak to fire. I don't even know if I want that. Yeah, right you know now. what? We don't need it, really. Up this way? I mean, I haven't been too stressed about Oh, he is like caramel. I haven't been too stressed about the monsters thus far, so now is not the time to start. Oh, look at that! We gave a bottle of water to Jeff. What, what, what would have happened to that? Why? Why would you have done that, Naka? You're so Turn it, Jeff. You're drinking all our water. Well, I'm thirsty. What can I say? Third floor. I'll go back down and read that sign. That's just the end. That's why. Mad duck. They can be a nice pet if they stay far away. See, he says there's a bunch of enemies up here, but, but not to stress to out. Them. Because they're all like, it's like a zoo. Like, they're all kind of chilling there. Actually, I think it's just the two. It's not even a... Oh, no, never mind. There's the slimy little piles. I forgot about them. How did you capture I mean, he's a dungeon and a man. Oh, what the hell, I guess I won't be mean man. Yet another bench. I mean, I was gonna read the sign, but... Come on, Jeff. Maybe you can't do it because your inventory's full. I mean, wouldn't that technically not matter? Because I mean, it shouldn't. just replacing one item with another. I mean, it shouldn't. But maybe it's like the order of operations internally is it has to put the new item in your inventory and then remove the old one. Mm. We made it! That was an amazing dungeon. Probably could have used with more enemies that were actually a threat. Just looks like a plot hole. Yeah. Or punch it. What is going on with your face anyway, Brick Road? I'm not actually sure. And that would be this hole right here. You can go read the sign from in front of the other one, but he won't actually let you jump in the other one right away. But not today. Jeez. Okay, I was not expecting the cute little UFOs. Three already, cute little UFOs. We've already beaten them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys were back in the friggin' Grateful Dead Valley. Yeah. Oh wait, I mean the Peaceful Rest Valley. Peaceful Rest Valley, yes. yes. Can't get sued at this day and age. Isn't that right, JoJo's wacky fun time journey? They have 162 HP, by the way. Well, Ness killed, like, hit, it, hit enough, hit him for enough to, like, 
kill three of them. And, so. like, no defense, so you should be doing, just, like, stupid damage to them. <laughs> now I feel bad. Thanks, game. How dare you give me the boiled remains of a once lively egg and then tell me that I was bad for abandoning it. Okay, that I'll eat a pizza for. Yeah, that's that's worth something. Actually, who got hit during that whole thing? I think a couple people got shot. One, none, one. That well, one HP more important to Jeff or Ness? Well, Jeff, you haven't eaten a pizza before. So that's because I don't want to... <laughs> Shove it through his mouth. Look, we've. It's part of becoming a team, Jeff. We all have to eat an entire pizza at some point. Now, who do I want to give this more to? Do I want to give it to Jeff just so he can have more IQ to fix stuff, or is he at the point where he doesn't really need it anymore? Um, you need a lot of IQ to get some of his best stuff. But I'm looking at, um, what's Paula is 36 and Ness is 28. I'm trying to remember what IQ does. I think it's PP think it's, on level up. I think that's what people said was like it's like the same thing as wisdom. It's like it's just more MP PP on level up. Yeah, so I guess maybe. Oh, honest to goodness, I'd sell I, or I'd save it and give it to Pooh. I'm honestly just wanting to use it on Jeff, but yeah, like otherwise, I would maybe give it. Like if you want to use it immediately, I would give it to Jeff, but. I would, like, personally, I would save it and give it to Pooh, because one of Pooh's... I mean, we're about to leave, so... Yeah, one of Pooh's biggest problems is he has a very limited PP pool. Oh, there we go. Yeah! So it doesn't matter. All right, lesson learned. The Heavy Bazooka. So up until now, we could buy bazookas, like, in a store, but the Heavy Bazooka, on the other hand... Even better. Items for Jeff. Really dishes out a lot of damage to the enemy during the battle. Because of its explosive power, it may affect other others besides the target creature. It can be used many times. So it doesn't get used. It doesn't get eaten up when used. Probably hits more than the enemy you shot at. It does splash. And hurts. Like, overall. Also, we have a dungeon following us. Not a lot of games you can say that in. Well, we're gonna see either the Heavy Bazooka. Alright, that's... And, oh wow, I mean, I guess that's what happens when you get punched by a dungeon. Well, you gotta see both. You gotta <laughs> see the, the Heavy Bazooka go off. And you gotta see the fact that Dungeon Man's actually a party member with us. Yeah, not a controllable party member. Guest. Kraken soup. Hmm. I don't know what that does, but it sounds amazing. I'll throw away this IQ capsule. I'm actually trying to find it in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of holding it. Oh, uh, it's a full heal. Okay. Everyone. Full party heal. I think, I'm pretty sure that's like a 1 in 28 drop. Um, what, what enemy was that? That was the, the little, that, that UFO thing. Like, it wasn't the cute little UFO. It's like the Little Miss UFO. Is it the beautiful UFO? Beautiful UFO. Um, It's the uh, pink looking one. Yeah, I mean, they can drop a lot of stuff. I'm not sure what the drop rate of this one specifically is, though. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of this crystal charm. A little frustrating because now we can walk over to the one person and sell our crap. Yeah, well, I mean... You know you guys are attacking a dungeon, right? Hey, hey dude person, dude McPerson. Anything else we can sell? Um, Crake and Soup, Brain Food Lunch, Rock Candy, we should probably decide what we're gonna do with that Rock Candy. IQ Capsule we're saving, everything else there is pretty good. We're gonna want to use that Bag of Dragonite at some point. 
And he's just got so much. I mean, technically, equipment. What we, need, we need to do is call Escargot Express, have them come pick up like the the copy of hieroglyphs. Well, I would say. Tower. Well, well, we may need. We still but, need that key to the tower. But I don't think I don't think they come out here is the problem. So. Well, I wouldn't worry about calling them anyway. I would just power through, head actually west, because you may recall me mentioning camera spots. Everyone's fifty and they're old now. So I actually found Brick Road has a clay model. Not like Dungeon Man, actual Brick Road does. Hmm. And it makes me understand what's going on with that thing on his nose. Oh, the mustache? Yeah, it's right around the top up here somewhere. It's not like right next to the plants. It's like out in, up here somewhere. Nope, further down. It's kind of near-ish. The lake. The oasis. Yeah, like, okay, um, stop, go up, like, a tree's height. Got it. Now that we're all standing out here awkwardly. Oh, I missed the tree. Hey, hey monster, can you scoosh in, too, before to be part of the picture? Eh, ow! Don't ruin the picture like that. I saw that coming. So we are now actually done in this desert, and we can move on! Oh no. The thing I was going to use to level grind on the tar uh, tallest... Artist Mountain just got destroyed, and now all I get is some weenie ass character who just happened to show up in a tank that's not good anymore. Well, we lost Dungeon Man and found an enemy. <laughs> well, maybe we can go on without him. Gotta be something we can do down here. I do remember hearing something about deep darkness being important. Excuse me, sir. My name is Rekgar. I dare to be stupid. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Well, we don't have a submarine. Oh, well, we just need a submarine, then. Crap. There's no submarine here. I was really hoping there was a submarine there. You know about a submarine? Wow, convenient. And that is probably where we're going to want to take a break. Until next time, everyone, we're going back into Dungeon Man. To take another nap. Because apparently he has a submarine. Maybe it was near that taxi I saw. Nah, that's stupid. Why would there be a submarine next to a taxi in a vehicle collection? <laughs>